Hey guys, welcome to another declutter. And this was requested, so I decided the next part would be my lip products. And I do have a lot of them. I don't have as much as typical makeup gurus. And I keep like everything in here. This is like the wider Alex drawer, the six drawer one. These are just like your utensil organizers, to be honest with you, that I got from Ikea. And they work pretty well. I do have a lot of product in here. A lot of it is like not used, never been open. And so I want to sort through those and see which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to declutter. Some of the ones that I'm not going to keep, I might actually end up selling on Poshmark. Because I buy all my makeup myself, I feel like, you know, at least I can get a little bit of my money back. Some of it is going to go into giveaways. You guys know I love doing giveaways for you. I like run one giveaway a month and now I started doing some giveaways on Instagram. So basically I'll have two giveaways running each month. So I definitely will keep a lot of the products for giveaways for you guys because you know how much I love you. Um, but let me go ahead and, and get started with this declutter because I'm rambling on too much. Products that I'm not going to keep are going to go into this little bin right here. So let me go ahead and just get to it. Oh my god, you guys, I have a lot of things. Actually, this is just my single eyeshadows that I didn't have anywhere to put, so I decided to keep them in this organizer. I'm going to take all of it out too. But I'm going to declutter them at a later time though. I'm going to link all of my declutter playlist down below so you guys can see some of my past declutters. I've already done lip products in the past. Wow, so my USB. The only part I don't like about Alex drawers, and I think it's it's probably with all of them or most of the drawer organizers is that it doesn't pull out all the way um it kind of stops almost halfway there no maybe more than that but i wish i could see like in the back too wow mm. yeah you see this part i don't even know what i have because it is like so far in the back These are all my lip pencils. Oh yeah, I, it needs to be cleaned, so let me go ahead and clean that. Oh god, I don't even know where to start, but let me just go ahead and get to it because I need to start somewhere. Let me start with some easy stuff. This ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. It's pretty bright color. It's in, where is it? beeper and so i you know i'm not going to get a good use out of this color so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one and you guys can hear danny's footsteps upstairs he's like running around and playing and it's been like that in every video so if, in case you're wondering what this noise is it's him jumping around upstairs all right oh yeah you know what i'm going to get rid of this mac and patrick star lip pencil and this one is in color brick it's a pretty brick red color it's wearable but i know i don't go for colors like that and again why try and swatch if i can just go ahead and you know give it to somebody or sell it all right you know what guys let me start with my lip pencils because i generally don't go for them too often and i don't have that many of them so it's going to be a little easier for me i think that and like products that are still in boxes i'm going to see like or products that i've never used before i'm going to see if i'm going to go ahead and use them or if i should just declutter so um oh yeah i'm definitely going to try and use this essence soft contouring very pretty color and it's in under my skin it just looks 
yeah that didn't swatch well let me see so right there you guys I ended up turning off my autofocus and so now I had to kind of figure out where exactly is my focus point on here I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in now this NYX lip pencil in color cabaret 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 I'm going to declutter because again it's one of those colors that I might just not go for too often so might as well get rid of that this is like another one of NYX why did I buy two of them isn't that the same one no this is plum Whew, maybe I'll keep one of those just in case I do want to do that dark red lip which one should I keep though they're like identical I'm surprised they have different names I'm probably gonna go ahead and keep the plum one and get rid of the carbonate carbonate this one is the cat 1d lolita lip liner oh this is the mechanical one it's a very pretty color oh god essence one would not swatch for me so yeah, I was a little too rough with this pencil right there. Wow, you like barely need any pressure. I'm going to keep this because it's awesome quality. And I need like a makeup wipe to get rid of that. Okay, there you go. Brand new hand. Now, this is Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in color Tarn On. I'll probably keep this one because I do have some lipsticks that I like in this similar color. And same thing with this color. I do like the Revlon Color Stay lip liner and a color blush. Essence. Is this Essence? No, this is Rimmel actually. Exaggerate full color lip liner. Oh, this is an interesting one. Look at that. It's very slanted. But I, I know I like this color. So we're going to swatch. And it's a beautiful, you can either have a thin line or you can have like a thick line like that. Keeping that, probably getting rid of this Estee Lauder one. It, it's a pretty shade. It, it's raspberry pink and it's called Fuchsia Urban Decay Glide on Lip Pencil. This is actually a really cool thing because I believe it's the one where you, when you put it on, make sure lip gloss or lipstick stay on. Um, kind of inside the contour and inside the lines of this pencil so it doesn't bleed out. This is Makeup Forever Artist. Again, pretty color, but something that I will not be wearing. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. And NYX. I don't have so many NYX pencils in a similar shade. I wonder if I was like buying them and not realizing what shade it is and then I like never returned it so it's still in the packaging I will definitely declutter this because this is in the color plush red very similar to the ones that I'm already keeping and this is the Urban Decay 24 7 lip pencil in the color Rush this is this is my type of shade this is my type of color and this is why I am keeping that wow that's a very good quality lip pencil. Actually, that wasn't too bad. I'm keeping pretty decent amount, but I also got rid of some of the ones that I don't use. So it's, it's pretty good. Oh, no, there is one more left and it's Essence Soft Contour. I can never like see the shade right away. It's 08 Big Proposal. Ooh, that's a good name. Let's see if we can yeah, you see Essence doesn't swatch well, so it's not as good good of a quality as your like Rimmel But it's, it's like one of the cheapest ones out there I believe it was like only a dollar fifty or even a dollar So I'm going to keep that and see if I like warm it up if it's gonna work better All right guys, let's go through products that for sure like stand out to me that I'm going to get rid of them um, for example this Duce mineral matte lipstick color is red or gorgeous red I'm not even going to open it up because it's still in the packaging and i'm going to either sell it or put it in a giveaway now i still have this mac times patrick stark lab very pretty color lipstick uh, what is it called she better work <laughs> work yeah, I never know how to pronounce these names. That's what the packaging looks like. And 
You see, this is a very pretty nude color, but I just don't know if I'm going to get a good use out of it because I have some other lipsticks that are already swatched and used of a similar shade because this is, as you guys can tell from my lip pencils that I'm keeping, this is the kind of shade that I really, really like. So I'm going to put this in a maybe pile and then this side later on, depending on whether I keep some more lipsticks like that, which I'm sure I will. Put it back in this pretty packaging. A oh, maybe. Okay. Next. Oh, okay. The Bobby Brown still in the packaging. The color is Pop Pink 40. And when I open it up, gorgeous, gorgeous pink color, raspberry pink. But again, this is something that I will probably not wear, maybe in summertime. You know, I'm going to declutter this because I, I'm sure I have some more shades like that that I already wore. So I'm going to declutter this one. Now, up next we have this Smashbox Fair Play Matte Lip Color Lipstick. Oh, so, let's see. I, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this is a very pale, I don't even know how to call this color. It's gorgeous, like lilac, um, I want to say. But I'm not going to go for a shade like that. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. You know what, let's, let's talk about some products that I already see I'm going to keep. Such as this NYX Pin Up Pout in the shade Almost Famous. I really like when lipsticks have this little part with a shade that you know you're gonna have inside. It's very easy to look for your lipstick that you want. Yeah, this is definitely something I'm going to keep and I already swatched it before and I really, really like it. So we're keeping that. No, it's not gonna fit like that, so we're gonna put it here. Now this box on one in the color Sultry Mauve. This is pretty new to my collection. I actually got it from Nordstrom Racks. Awesome, gorgeous shade, you guys. Definitely keeping this. You're going to see a pattern of uh, shades I'm keeping. They're all gonna be similar. Another lip product I know for a fact I'm keeping is this Dose of Colors. Mm, I don't know what it's called exactly, but the, sh the shade is just my type. <laughs> that is so true because this is definitely just my type of, of color. Keeping that. Yeah, I'm also going to be keeping this Nicki Minaj and MAC collab. Again, a very pretty nude color. I'm probably going to keep this Tarte Lip Surgeon's Power Pigment. It's a swatch. Wow. Yeah. It's gorgeous. And for sure we're keeping this Lorac Pro, what do you call this? Matte lip color in nude pink slash rose petal. It is a very gorgeous, that like your nude pink does exactly how they named it. I agree with the name. Very pretty shade, keeping that. Now, L'Oreal Inflammable 8-Hour Pro, Pro Gloss, and this is in 101 Paddle. This is so beautiful, you guys. It is almost that iridescent nude pink color, which it's not picking up on camera, but in real life, it is so beautiful when you put it over your lipstick. I just recently got this Tarte lipstick in the shade Watermelon. You guys probably watched my, if you watched my haul, it is a very bold color. It is something that I would probably go for summertime. I do want to step out of my comfort zone occasionally, so we'll keep that for that occasion. I don't know what to do with this Offra lipstick or long-lasting lip, liquid lipstick, which I usually love these type of products. It's in the shade Havana Nights. Gorgeous product. I actually didn't even swatch it or wear it uh, because the color is so dark. I'm just probably going to declutter that. This is an interesting 
product, a uh, just very interesting shade, I mean, by Pretty Vulgar. My lips are sealed lip gloss. It is that like pearly pink color, you know, it just has micro glitter in there and it just looks very flattering actually on your lips. I've had it for quite a while, I think. Again, my camera is not picking up the color for sure, the beauty of this, but I'm going to keep that. Another product I am not sure whether I should keep or declutter is this Bella Pierre Kiss Proof Liquid Cream in a shade, I'm not sure. Oh, wow. Antique Pink. Again, this is my type of shade. I didn't open this product yet and I'm already sure I'm going to keep some more products like that because I know I have a lot of these shades. So I'm going to put it in the maybe pile and then we're going to see whether I'm going to have like a dupe for it. If I do that I'm already using, I'm going to declutter that. And another product that I didn't open yet, but I really like the shade. It's Han Healthy and Natural Skin Care Cosmetics all natural lip gloss. Oh, that's actually very intriguing and I think I want to keep that. Nude Rose is the color. Yeah, let's open it up and let's swatch it. This video is going to be so long, you guys. I hope you don't mind that. Where are we going to swatch? Yeah, this is gorgeous. Now, here's another product I know for a fact I'm going to declutter only because I'm kind of intimidated by it. The shade itself is going to be too bright for me. And I've never used powder to cream product. I just don't know how it's going to work. I'm sure somebody else will enjoy it a lot more than me. So we're going to go ahead and declutter that. This is by CLE Melting Lip Powder. I think I'm going to declutter this one as well. It's the Attitude 24-7 Hydrating Lip Stain by JCATS. Maybe I shouldn't. But I really want to try this product out because I know JCATS is a very affordable brand. You know what? I'm going to keep it. Oh yeah, this is I'm keeping. As you can see, it's pretty well loved, you guys. I kept it in my purse for a while because I, I really like this product. I don't even know what the shade is. I think it like erased. Maybe I shouldn't be keeping it because it's, it's looking dry already. I know it still works pretty well. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. I absolutely love these Tarteist little ones, like lip paints by Tarte. The shade is Delish. I think I have another one somewhere. I just don't know where it went. Very similar color. But yeah, definitely keeping it. Up next we have the Beauty Crop Matte Liquid Lipstick. Let's see, what is the shade? The shade is Date Night. Actually, I quite like this shade from what I can tell. It is dark. Oh, this is like a dupe for Tarte Lip Paint. Can you see how similar they look? This one is just a bit redder, whereas Tarte one is more on the brownish side. So. I think I'm going to keep this one too, especially now that I swatched it. I will be keeping this product by Smith's Rosebud Salve. I, I actually really like this product. I t don't tend to go for packaging like that because I don't think it's hygienic and it's quite difficult to use, but I'm going to keep it because I really like this lip balm. And I'm definitely keeping my CoverGirl lipstick in Honey Bloom. Super pretty, you guys. I got it on a like crazy sale. Yep, I swatched it before. Maybe even wore it. Gorgeous color. I'm also going to go ahead and keep this Too Faced Marshmallow Bunny lipstick. Very pretty baby pink color. It actually has a tiny bit of like peachy undertone to it. And You guys know that this is a very pretty baby pink color that I, I don't think I have anything like that in my collection. We're gonna go ahead and keep that. This next product is NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Pops Explosive. I am going to go ahead and keep that because it is a similar shade to what I like and it seems like it's a tiny bit broken so I wouldn't want 
to give that away or sell it. But yeah, I definitely like the color. Now this is a lip balm by NYX. It's Lip Butter. It's actually tinted lip balm. It's quite pigmented too. Now this Stila lip glaze is pretty old. I feel so bad that I didn't use it that much. And it's called Guava. Man, these colors are like hard to pronounce. Oh no, this is actually pretty new. How's this brand new? Oh, well, never mind. This is brand new. I swear I had like another very similar color by, by Stila. But now that I know that this is brand new, because I think I was intimidated to use it because I thought it was so old. But this is not it. This is actually pretty new. I don't know where I got it. Must have bought it sometime. But come on. Oh, there we go. So pretty. Yeah, we are going to keep this one. Oh my god, you guys, one of these products that I just swatched is not coming off. I, I already forgot which one it is, but if you remember what this watch was, you will know that th that's pretty hardcore. It's not coming off. All right, well, let's just continue because this is getting so long. I'm so sorry. Tarte Lip Surgeons in a color visionary i don't believe i used it and you probably should declutter it because i already have so many similar colors like that yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna declutter galactic beauty matte lip paint uh-huh should i declutter this this is in the color posh i really do like i started kind of getting in these colors like brick red or i should say like brownish colors i don't know why i tried it once and I really liked the way it looked I think I should keep this one yeah I'm gonna keep it because I've never tried anything by this brand before and it's getting quite popular actually I think it's being sold at Ulta so we're gonna keep this my Laura Geller color drenched lip gloss in the shade perked up pink I'm going to go ahead and keep this all right, guys, we were definitely more than halfway done. Let me just, just quickly go through it. I probably have to stop swatching things because it's taking a while for me to go through everything. But let's see. All right, I have two of these Rimmel Kate lipsticks that I bought a while back. And I probably should get rid of them because they're getting old. I... Did get a pretty good use out of this one. I loved it, but I have to, it's, it's getting old, so I definitely have to get rid of these. I'm just going to toss them in the trash. And this is another Ofra one. Again, this is a type of color that I do like. It's in the Verona. I feel like, I feel like I've seen this before. Why do I feel, okay, oh, because I, I have another color like that. Um, from a different brand. I think I'm actually going to declutter that because I do have a similar color by Colourpop, which I just adore. I love it. It's actually in my purse right now, so I'm going to do a video of what's in my purse or what's in my makeup bag, everything makeup bag, and you guys are going to see that lip gloss slash lipstick in there. I have Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Brow and Arrow. I believe I got it in one of the subscription boxes. Very pretty color. I feel like I kept some of some of the other shades like that. Should I keep it? No, you, you know what? I'm going to put it in the maybe pile and then we're going to decide. All right, some more lip glosses by Bare Minerals Moxie, Marvelous Moxie. I, I feel like I've had this for a while. I don't know if it's still good though. Probably gonna go ahead and get rid of it. It smells okay, but I know I had it for a while. So we're gonna just get rid of that one. And same story with this product. I feel like I had it in my previous declutter, which was a few years back. And this is the Noya lip gloss in the color Malbec. It's just gorgeous raspberry pink. Um, looks flattering on your lip, but we're gonna go ahead and declutter that because it's been a while since I had it. Models own. Oh, I forgot I actually bought this. I wanted to try it out so much and then I forgot that I had it. So this is the Cheat Day Lip Glaze and the color is 
a cheat day. Oh, that's the collar actually. Okay, that's pretty cool how they have a collar right there. We're gonna keep that. Now my Avon lipstick. I, I feel like I have another one which I don't I don't see where it is. Um I don't know where it went. Oh, right here. Okay. So yeah, my two Avon lip lipsticks, they're awesome unfortunately i have to go into the trash can because they are very old oh this was my favorite shade oh my god i remember using it so much mm, wink i think that's the color you know what guys i actually might go ahead and repurchase that color if they still have it and let me know if you're interested in like avon haul i know i did it a while back and you guys liked it so I haven't shopped there since. I know they have some pretty good products. Up next, oh, this is the very dark lipstick in the color, or this is lip gloss. No, this is lipstick. Ofra Honolulu. I'm definitely going to go ahead and declutter this one because it's way too dark for me. And it's just a little MAC lip glaze. I don't own many MAC products, that's why I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. This is Color Effects Shimmer Veil. I know I mispronounced V's and W's. I think this is for your eyes though. This is not a lip product. Uh, and I don't think I've used this before. I'm going to put it in the right spot. And then we're going to see if I want to declutter it when I do my eye products. Okay, definitely keeping Vivid again with my V's and W's. Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is L'Oreal. No, this is Maybelline actually. In the color Gray Envy. It's pretty dark, but I've tried it before and I love the way it looks, so we're gonna keep it. Guys, unfortunately, my camera turned off the second time when I didn't notice it, and this time it was my SD card was full, so I'm not exactly sure where I left off, but I looked through the footage and it seems like a lot of it is missing. So I'll just show you, instead of like going over everything one by one, I'll just show you what I got rid of and what I kept while I was filming it. So we are getting rid of this Wet n Wild lipstick. Um, it's the orangey color. The shade is What's Up Doc. I got rid of the another Wet n Wild lipstick, which I believe is this one is way older than the other one that I just got rid of. And the color is Pinkerbell. And this Julep, um, this mini lipstick in the color Charleston. It's very pretty like brick red color but it's so old uh, it survived my previous declutter we're gonna get rid of it this time soft lips in pearl this is like a lip balm pretty old I know for a fact so getting rid of that lock by Tati and this is a gorgeous red color it's just again it's very intimidating and I know I had it for so long we're gonna get rid of that and this is the one where I think I stopped, it stopped filming. I got rid of the Pixie lip balm because it is so old also. Here is a pile of products I kept. We have Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the shade Sell Out. Gorgeous, gorgeous nude color. Love it. You guys check out Nordstrom Racks online. They have these on clearance. Just some selected shades, but for $5 you can get them. So this one we're keeping, we're keeping MAC, an elegant accent. This is the shade. Again, I got this lipstick on Nordstrom Racks. They have MAC lipsticks. They have all kinds of products. If you guys don't have Hot Look slash Nordstrom Racks account, but you like to shop online, be sure to open the account up. They do have really good referral system where for every friend you refer you get twenty dollars back which that is just awesome yeah so keeping that also keeping this buxom what is this Plumline lip liner in the color dolly danger and keeping the tart lip surgeons in the shade wonder gorgeous color just love these lip surgeons from Tarte. They're awesome. They they have good sting power and they are usually very flattering on your lips. I'm getting rid of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Kyra because it's a bit too pale for my liking. 
And I'm also getting rid of the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona because I have already a few colors that I left that are similar shades. I am keeping the Wear 22 is the company name, I believe, and the shade is Chasanga. Wow, um, interesting. I think this is a Korean brand. It's just like clear lip balm. We're keeping that. I'm gonna get rid of this lip crayon by Julep. It's the Plush Pout. And the shade is Aurora Pink Cream. Now I did like it, but it's getting old, so I had to get rid of it. And I also have to get rid of this balm, Meat Matte Hues lip balm, because it just looks like it's getting old. It's separating, and usually that's not a good sign. I'm gonna get, get rid of that one. Keeping the Icosmatics um, lip balm in the color Vitality Lip Flush. I don't remember when I got it, but I, it looks pretty new to me. Um, so we're gonna keep that for now. I didn't know I had another MAC lip glass. I can read the shade because it has like numbers stamped over it, but it's a pretty like raspberry pink color. Again, not the shade that I would go for usually, but I feel like I've swatched it, used it, might as well keep it for now. It's a small, thin little container, so it's not gonna take up so much space, and I might use it summertime. Oh, this is so cute. What is this? This is so tiny. I think I got it in a birch box or something, um, like ages ago, so we're gonna get rid of it. Another product that I think is getting old is this Urban Decay Lipstick. Uh, very pretty dark red color because it's so old. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. And I'm going to declutter the matte lipstick um, in the shade Chocolate because I feel like I'm not going to go for a shade like that. It just looks like it's going to be way too dark for my liking but it's never been opened, so I don't know whether I'm gonna sell it or if I'll put it in the giveaway. Up next, I have Beige Babe Matte Lipstick by Maybelline. I think I got it a while back, pretty sure, so we're gonna declutter it and toss it in the trash. Now, this is pretty new, I think. It's by Saint Laurent. The shade is Maybe it's just 104. I can't read the letters, numbers so small. Um, yeah, this is an interesting bold red color that, hmm, I'll probably keep it because, again, it's a tiny little travel size sample and it doesn't take up so much space. And I've never tried, like, lip products from St. Laurent. So we're going to see. It's, it, it's the creamy stain one. All right, Too Faced Lip Injection. I'm going to keep, I like it. Jouer Lip Enhancer. Actually, I'm gonna put this right here. I don't remember whether it's the older one. It smells good still, so we're gonna keep that. I'm pretty sure I got rid of the older one, so we're gonna keep this one. And then we have the Sultry Mauve by Buxom. Again, it's, it's, it's a small sample. It's a pretty color, we're gonna keep that. And Skin Fix, I love this natural minty mint lip repair balm. It's the 40% coconut oil. I have just a few more products left, you guys. Japanese lipstick that I just recently got with a huge discount that Ulta was running. Kumadori lipstick in the shade UME. Keeping that. It's actually pretty cool packaging because it's magnetic. Unfortunately, it also stopped selling Japanese products. It kind of sucks. I really started liking their products, to be honest with you. Now, this is Hanali. Hanale lip treatment in rose. Oh, this is still close, so we're gonna we're gonna keep that for sure. I believe this is like a lip balm type of product. And this is Tarteast lip paint. I love these, and I believe I have a color, like a mini color like that, deluxe size sample. So this is the front row, gorgeous color, but we're gonna declutter that because it's still brand new and I don't wanna mess with it. 
since I have a shade either the same or similar. Alright guys, I just have these little samples that I am going to get rid of because I usually don't like use them. Then these are the products from my maybe pile. So we have the Cut 1D liquid lipstick, we have the MAC Times Patrick Star, and then we have the Bella Pierre. So we're going to declutter the Bella Pierre. Alright guys, I think I'm going to need your help with these to be honest with you. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to declutter the Cat 1D1 because I did keep similar shades like that. Mm, this looks so pretty though. I mm, No, not similar, not similar. Do I have similar shades? Um, maybe similar? This is just pinkier. No, you know what? I'm gonna declutter it for now. But if I change my mind, please don't blame me because this is a very pretty color. And I'm going to declutter the MAC lipstick. I'm still on the iffy side about it because it's limited edition, you guys. And I, I don't think you can get it anymore. But I feel like I've cut some shades similar to this and it's brand new, it's not open, so I'm going to declutter it for now. But it might make its way back into my collection if I change my mind in the next few days. Alright guys, I think I did pretty well. We actually have a lot of products that I'm decluttering. In this container I have all of the brand new products that I'm either going to sell my Poshmark, which I'm going to link down below in case you're interested or we are going to put it in a giveaway. I'm actually going to run a little giveaway right now to be honest with you. In comments down below, tell me which of these products you would like to have. I'll pick one or two of you as winners and I'll ship them to you. Another part of the giveaway that I usually have, like another rule, is obviously you have to like the video and most importantly you have to be my subscriber. Check out my giveaway on Instagram. I'll be doing them every month. Same on YouTube. I usually do them every month or, or so because sometimes I get busy and I don't film the video on time but I tend to do them every month. Also I'm actually running a little giveaway under my eyeshadow palette declutter video since you made it this far and you are hearing about the giveaway I know you guys are the ones that watch till the end and then I have like a whole bunch of yeah I did declutter a lot because then I have a whole lot of products that I'm actually just tossing in the trash because they're old so yeah you guys are pretty darn good I'm actually glad that some of you are going to get a chance to enjoy these products that have been sitting in my collection and I know I'm not going to get to them because I have so many already. So um, yeah, I think this was pretty successful. Let me just fast forward and organize this a little better. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye!